violence. Dragon Slayer, beginning to 37. Nothing super tricky here. Even though the beginning to 19 we've never recorded before, you should notice that the beginning to 11 is the same as 27 to 37. It's the same notes. It's the same thing that we played at the end also. So the Divisi I did just like I always do. I'm playing the top part because it's the changing notes. Um, in measure six, if you're playing the top part, F sharp, F sharp, rest, F sharp. If you're playing the bottom part, E, E, rest, E. In measure seven, if you're playing the top part, G, G, G. If you're playing the bottom part, measure seven, E, E, E. Measure eight, if you're playing the top part, A, 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 A. Measure eight, if you're playing the bottom part, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Um, just keep playing the same one that you've been playing. Um, the biggest thing here, because I slowed the tempo down a little bit from what we did last week, is that I'm really looking for dynamics and accents. So measure one through measure eight, every single note has an accent. You need to add extra weight and extra speed so they're really emphasized. Measure eight, there's a big crescendo. It goes from forte to fortissimo. That needs to be really obvious in your sound. So don't start at your absolute loudest. Save a little bit. Then suddenly at measure 11, we're getting rid of all the accents. We're getting rid of all the loud sound. For four measures, you have to play piano. Then at the end of measure 14, you'll do a bow lift and it will change to forte. So if I play at 14, I'm gonna go softly. Needs to be really obvious that you're changing from soft to loud. Um, we've done 19 to 37, so that shouldn't be too awful for you. Start loud. At 27, make sure you add those accents back in. At 34, make sure you do that crescendo to fortissimo. That's pretty much it. If you're having trouble, let me know. But make sure that your dynamics and your accents are really, really obvious.